At WWDC, a main thing Apple focused on was AR, and they released AR Kit for developers. This allows you to place virtual objects into the real world. But Apple's approach is a little bit different than some of the competition, and it allows you to use this AR technology on the devices that we already have. Apple showed off their own demo, and we have it here running, and so far, it's pretty impressive. What makes this different from how some of the others are doing it is that instead of creating a 3D map of the room you're in, so scanning the walls, where everything is, different tables, instead of doing that, what ARKit does is use the camera to find different points in the room, and it can also detect flat surfaces like tables or floors. It can also use the sensors that are built into the iPhone so that when you move, it knows how you're moving and it can keep the object stationary where you put it. This technique should hopefully make this power efficient and of course make it available on devices that we already have. Now for Apple's demo, it's very simple. There's just a few different objects that you can place into a room, but it works extremely well. So this is an empty table, there's nothing on it. But with the AR kit example, you can place objects here and it looks pretty real. So now that it's detected a surface, you can add an object. So let's add a cup and there it places a cup and you can move around the surface and the object and it stays relatively still. Some surfaces work better than others and of course this is still in beta so it can get improved. You can also move farther away and you can move closer and get as close as you want. It is pretty impressive. You can also add other objects like a lamp and with this you can see that it actually has shadows and it also casts a bit of light so it makes it rather realistic. And again you can move all the way around. You can also add different objects like to the floor so we have a candle here kind of a jack jump over the candlestick scenario, but it stays relatively still. You can move around and it's really effective. So what will this actually be used for? Well, the main obvious one is gaming. And we've also had games like Pokemon Go that try to incorporate an AR feature. What AR Kit will allow is for it to be much more realistic. So it can actually pin to surfaces and you can move around instead of it just kind of floating in the world. Another idea is what was announced by Ikea. They're going to have an app where you can actually place their furniture into your home virtually through your iOS device. Really, there's many different ways that this can be used and it's in developer's hands now. But that is a quick look at AR Kit coming in iOS 11. It's still in beta right now, so be sure to stay tuned to MacRumors.com for any updates or changes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I'm Matt Gonzalez with MacRumors and I'll see you next time.